Um, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so continuing where we left off, we were talking about maps, right, in the standard template library. So I made a little picture about what I told you last time about uh, the key and the value, right? So this is this is a very simplified version of the map, but obviously, but basically there's a key that corresponds to value, and you look up by the key, you get the value. So as you see in the in this case bob jack and jill and 1 2 3 are relatively the same speed but imagine the the value being um like pi to the 1 millionth digit so uh look up by values or copying by values or anything like that is not going to be um, not going to be that quick uh and even even if values like a 50 digit number that you have to operate with and do stuff with uh it 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 also um this links to hash tables and all of those cool stuff so um let's go back to our map my map and um we've we've, we've done quite a a couple of things here right we've inserted we've learned how to use iterators with maps we've inserted uh, uh by using an iterator and so well, we don't need this for now because our map's small. So let's make a really quick um, database lookup program. And um, let's see. We will we can use. Ah, uh, we won't use fstream. We'll just keep the da database here, right? And um, so we declare this, and our database is going to be. Um, let's see map one oops my map one is equal to Christian my map two uh, Alex my map four oops is equal to carta I don't know I ran out of ideas so Here's our database, very simple database, and um, instead of making it an int database, let's make it a character database. And this is going to be a, right? Um, oops, say we drag this here, then we drag this here, and this is going to be, and Bob's going to be here. Christian will drag down here, and he won't be Christian. He'll be Fahy, Faher, whatever. And this is going to be B. It's going to be C. It's going to be F. It's going to be K. Oops. K. And this is going to be R. Alright? So instead of int here, we'll just use character. And once again, we'll get the same thing, except as you see now we get my map a my map b c f k r alex bob charlie Faher, carter richard and so that was easy we just change the type so now we say um see out oops please enter a a name right or a letter and um we'll just do s declare quick char u in for user input c in u in and um uh s let's just skip a line and now s we'll see out um uh, of my map dot find uh, that's actually an iterator so dot find um, u in uh, and so since it returns an iterator right if it was found uh, dot uh, second and since we don't want our program to crash right second because second holds the the value of the actual 
the first one holds the key, you know, and the second one holds the value. So since we don't want it to crash, we say if uh, my map dot find u in is not equal to map end. So if this, let's see, uh, map end. Maybe it's map dot end. My map is not equal to map. Uh, oops, that's my map probably. So please enter a letter, and we'll just say F. And see, it brings up Fahir. Uh, in this case, because uh, it made a uh, lookup by a character, and uh, the the find function is really useful. So it it will find something by the key. So and let's try it. Let's see if it crashes if we put something else in. Say we put in Q. See, then it doesn't bring up anything because Q is not in there. But let's see what happens if we take out the if statement. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe something will happen. So let's enter Q again. And it gave us some random answer um, that was might have been located at point Q. Basically it gave us a, a bunch of junk. That's why you need the if statement to check if um, if we actually found it. Because if we didn't find it, it will return the mymap.end iterator, which is one past the last element. Uh, so it will basically tell us that it's not there and return some junk. So we don't want the junk. We only want it in case it found it. So once again, let's fool around with it a little bit more. And let's R, we get Richard. So um, basically I gave you most of the information uh, you need now to go ahead and figure out the rest on your own. Uh, let's see, w what haven't we covered? Perhaps, oops, let's go. This is the reference. Empty uh, size, we, we, we all know this from vectors, right? Insert, erase, um, swap, uh, swap is kind of useless. Key comp, value comp. Um, I should mention, right, if we're using classes, um, say class x, then you'd probably int a, um, int b, and uh, you'd probably want to write a quick compare function, um, something like uh, x a x b uh, return. Uh, let's see what what will the compare function do? I'm trying to figure out return x. Uh, and let's make this public just so we don't have to bother with it. Return x dot a uh, plus x dot b. Oops. If the sum of a and b of type, oops, a dot a plus a dot b, being stupid today, is greater than b dot a plus b dot b. B. So if so, we return A. Otherwise, we return B. And this is just a short notation for the if for a lot of if statements. So now we can we can do the same thing, but we just pass in our compare function, and it should work. Um, because if if uh, the if C plus plus doesn't know about our class, we need to specify a compare function, and the compare function goes after um, mm, after the the, the last uh, specification. So you would say compare compare. So uh, I'm running out of time again, guys. So if uh, let's see. So that's that's mostly it uh i guess and uh see you next time